Praise the God. Thank you for joining the Unity Church of God in Christ Sunday School Review on this Sunday morning. Praise the Lord on this day that God has made the 8th of August, year 2021. Thank God for his goodness. Thank God for who he is. May the favor of the Lord, our God, rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work for our hands for us on this day, the eighth day of August. That is Psalm 90 and 17. May again the favor of the Lord our God rest on us this day. That is our prayer for you. The Sunday School Review today, topic of review, meaning of faith. Meaning of faith. This is lesson number 10. This lesson is out of the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 8 and verses 13 through 16. Again, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 8, and verses 13 through 16 is the context for our discussion and are the basis that will fuel our review today. I do realize I, I say the word discussion, but it is challenging to have a discussion with me uh, in lieu of the fact we are on Facebook, but the goal is to generate discussion with you internally, discussion with you, with your family, whomever you are watching uh, uh, and are viewing the Sunday School Review with. The goal and the intent is even if you're reviewing it yourself, that it Hallelujah. Pivot, inspire, motivate you, propel you to have a discussion and tell someone about the good news of Jesus and what he can do for them. Our Sunday school lessons allow us to drill down a little deeper by focus, hallelujah, review in subject matter, in great detail. So hallelujah, you can elaborate on the promises of God in your witness to family, friends, and loved ones, and people that you don't know. Hallelujah. I'd like to this morning acknowledge our leaders, the leaders of the Unity Church of God in Christ, our pastor, our leader, Pastor Anthony Rogers, our First Lady, First Lady Charlene Rogers, and then you, hallelujah, as for stated, welcome you, those who have taken time out of your busy Sunday morning schedule to review Sunday School with us. Thank you. To our Sunday School Superintendent, Deacon Joe Daniels, and his companion by his side, Sister Annie Daniels, and more importantly, again, I thank you for the opportunity for me to share weekly with you each Sunday school lesson. Praise God. Our Bible truth, our Bible application, and our Bible learning are as follows. Our Bible truth, the hall of faiths, champions, heroes, and sheroes who wholeheartedly trusted God. Our Bible application, Christians will grow in faith and live in obedience to God's word. And our Bible learning, faith pleases God. Hallelujah. We are going to apply the Bible truth, the Bible application, and what we have learned to our lives collectively, individually, as we move forward this week. Our memory verse is Hebrews, is taken from Hebrews, the 11th chapter, 
verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that is the King James Version. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. That is the NIV, the New International Version. We will explore the memory verse in a little more detail as we proceed with our lesson review. But remember, now faith is the substance. Praise God. And that is Hebrews 11 and 1, our memory verse. Our lesson aim, by the end of this lesson, we will identify the faith contributions of the heroes in Hebrew 11. Value the people in our lives who act heroically through faith and grow in our potential to become, hallelujah, faith heroes ourselves. Our lesson aim, identify, to establish, or indicate who or what something is, praise God, to value, to consider someone or something, to be important and or beneficial, to have a high opinion of, and then to grow, to become larger or greater over a period of time. Hallelujah, when you grow, it should have a result of increase, and that increase with maturity and growth should also, hallelujah, advance you. These are characteristics. These are results of growth. Therefore, we're going to identify value. And when we identify and value as it relates to our lesson aim, the end result, the end result for every believer, the end result for every person who trusts and believes in God is growth, maturity, and advancement. Hallelujah. From this life to the next. But while we are advancing, we can share our experiences, hallelujah, with those we love, with those we come in contact as a positive, hallelujah, and concrete and valid witness of what God can do. Praise him. Our lesson has come to us weekly. Last week, I specified this so uh, specifically to our lesson aim, but I'd like to broaden the scope of focus. Our lessons come to us weekly. The scriptures, the subject matter come to us weekly to help us self-improve, help us self-enlighten, hallelujah, when our eyes are focused, when we know beyond a shadow of a doubt the understanding, the importance, the impact, hallelujah, the power of God's word and our faith and belief and trust in it, hallelujah, we can see clearly beyond what is impacting us today to the future that God has in store for us. Hallelujah, we're here each Sunday morning in Sunday school, each Sunday morning in Sunday morning worship with pastor giving a sermon, each Wednesday with a Bible study, we are here Hallelujah, more than the average person getting an eye checkup, making sure our eyes, our heart, and our mind are aligned. Hallelujah. It is necessary to ensure that this old body, this old tabernacle, can effectively, effectively move in this old world, hallelujah, and in order to do that, 
we go to the doctor for the natural body and we go depending upon the scenario or depending upon the circumstance or depending upon our condition some conditions require that you go to the doctor or to the physician more frequently than others hallelujah our condition oh glory to god one of existing in this world where so many things are impacting us so many distractions so many things and forces coming against us so many principalities in this world and wickedness from high places it is necessary hallelujah it is necessary for us to align ourselves to make sure our heart and mind and eyes hallelujah are aligned with the will and the word of god therefore people of god let's make sure we're getting our checkups routinely and weekly again your condition may be different than mine hallelujah but it is imperative that we check in with jesus our doctor our great physician and that check-in we help you again with sunday school we help you again with sunday morning service we help you with wednesday bible study but it is imperative that you develop a one-on-one -on -one individual personal relationship with jesus christ and that is our goal that is our goal hallelujah through sunday school helping you focus and see more clearly and when you're able to focus and see clearly we talk about lesson aim steps but again i'd like to broaden this to just our overall step and path in life hallelujah when your vision and focus are aligned then you have established the structure the steps necessary to increase faith hallelujah again you have then established the steps and structure necessary to increase faith glory to god our lesson setting if and it may be redundant i've said this for the last few weeks uh, again talking we've been in the book of romans this week we're transitioning to the book of hebrews but the audience and the believers have not changed this audience receiving the instructions from the book of hebrews and the guidance instruction and guidance outlined in this book they were also jewish converts to christianity we previously discussed the struggles these converts converts excuse me experienced and were experiencing balancing the traditions of the law christianity and the impact of what others thought of their decision thought of their choice to follow this new way the new way of christianity and belief in jesus christ people of god let's remember these individuals were making bold new statements in their belief and practice to follow jesus these steps they were making were historic hallelujah they upset family traditions i'm certain in many instances homes and families were impacted and not positively but in a negative way but they did so because of the impact and power of the message they received that jesus saves all you must do is believe and ask as we learned in last week's lesson these individuals these new converts these jewish 
converts who believed in Jesus and his message. They replaced years of tradition, hallelujah, years of Hebrew, centuries of Hebrew tradition with spiritual freedom through Jesus Christ as per our lesson commentary. The goal for the writer of the book of Hebrews <laughs> was to outline the fact that faith in Jesus Christ is, not was, is, hallelujah, God's word as we are taught is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That, hallelujah, faith in Jesus Christ is superior. The meaning of superior is in rank, status, or quality. Superior over, hallelujah. Faith in Jesus Christ is superior over the law. The 11th chapter is to a group of people who were wavering in their faith. It is to a group of people who were having second thoughts about their decisions to follow this way of Christianity. People of God, the same applies to us today. Don't worry about your decisions based upon the instruction and leading of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Faith in God through his son, Jesus Christ, is your evidence. It is your hope. It is your substance as our lesson outlines today. The book of Hebrews is an awesome read from a literary standpoint and perspective. There are many literary techniques that are used in the book of, hallelujah, Hebrews. Now faith, the reference to faith multiple times is a, a technique, an anaphoric technique that identifies and somewhat repeats certain words and or phrases to stress the importance of, hallelujah, not repetitive just so that you can know and see the meaning of the word, but to stress, hallelujah, to, to stress and instruct with clarity, hallelujah, the importance of a thought or concept. Thus, faith is referenced multiple times in that book. Hallelujah. Again, from a writing perspective, from an author, people who love poets, these individuals who love to write the book of Hebrews and that specific 11th chapter, the structure of how it is placed and written is eloquent and powerful in its outline. Hallelujah. But more importantly, the word of God is impactful to the mind and the heart. So although we might complement the structure of the writing, the impact of the message is greater, hallelujah, for those literary individuals. <laughs> the author of the book of Hebrews is debated, but that is not the focus of our discussion today. The content of the book, the content of what is written is our focus and how that content can help each and every one of us today. Again, our lesson discussion and a review is specific to the topic, meaning of faith. 
meaning. And these are very generic, I shouldn't say uh, a generic, that's not the appropriate word, but these are very familiar words. And when words are familiar, we generally know the meaning and our understanding of. But I often, <laughs> I often want to ensure or like to just review to make sure and eliminate any confusion to make sure that we are on the same path of understanding. There are words that sound alike. There are words that may uh, 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 be pronounced to sound like another word. Therefore, I like to eliminate all excuse. Praise God by going over the words. A very familiar word meaning. Meaning is what a word, action, or concept is all about its purpose, its significance, and our definition. There's a lot impacted, and that that word meaning, how should I say, there's a lot that contributes to that one word, action, concept, purpose, significance, definition. So to have a clear understanding or meaning of is imperative. Praise the Lord. Faith. This is something we've reviewed in our lesson. Uh, 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 we, this is something we've reviewed routinely for the past few weeks as we have reviewed our lesson topics. Faith. Complete trust or confidence in something, someone, belief, firm persuasion, assurance, confidence in what we hope for, more specifically, and the assurance that the Lord is working, the assurance that God is working, the assurance that even though we cannot see it, he is working. Faith knows that no matter what the situation in our lives or someone else's lives, the Lord is working on it. Our faith gives us, validates for us the fact that God is, the fact that an individual is. Faith, we apply it and refer to God in this lesson setting. There are faith that we express, and how should I say, in our children, in our family, in our loved ones and coworkers. But this lesson is specific to faith in God. Hallelujah. Faith in God is superior. Hallelujah. Then faith we can have in any one or any thing else because there is no one like him as we will read and review as we continue in this lesson. Hallelujah. No one else. There's no one out there we can compare him to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And because of that, faith in him supersedes any faith that we have in anyone else. Faith is used as a noun and trust as a verb in many of our New Testament references to faith. Faith is used very minimally in the Old Testament. Part one of today's lesson, Faith's Hope. Again, part one, our lesson is broken into, or not broken, but categorized in four different categories on today. Category one, Faith's Hope. Category one, Faith's Hope. This is specific to Hebrews 11 and verses 1 through 3. Faith's hope, Hebrews 11, verses 1 through 3. Hope, a feeling of expectation 
and desire for a certain thing to happen. I previously outlined the meaning of the word faith because Hebrews 1 and 1 clarifies what faith does, not what faith is per our lesson commentary. In many instances, you'll hear me refer to per our lesson commentary because I do not want to take credit for reference to a certain statement, a sentence, and or explanation of that I'm referring to. I agree with it, thus I'm using it, but want to make sure that I give credit to the lesson commentary, that commentary being from the Church of God in Christ. Again, Hebrews in 11 and 1 does not clarify what faith is, but it clarifies what faith does. This clarification is necessary, hallelujah, to understand, to accept the verses that follow. It demonstrates and show in great detail how faith went executed, how that faith operates, how that faith operates differently in individuals, both male and female. However, glory to God, faith is the activator. Hallelujah. Faith is the activator that allows faith in, faith in activates the power of God activates the power of his son. Hallelujah. Faith in Jesus Christ activates all that God has in store for us. We, the believer. Hallelujah. Again, Hebrews 11 and 1 clarifies what faith does. Hallelujah. When you have, when you possess, when you demonstrate, when you show faith, then this takes place. And the additional verses outlined in that 11th chapter give example to, hallelujah, what faith does. Faith cannot be instructed are outlined by the law. Faith is something we all personally must execute. Faith is something we all must personally display. Hallelujah. Substance is the real physical matter of which a person or thing consists. Substance is tangible. Substance is solid, a concrete reality in which things can be built. That's what substance is. Hallelujah. Faith is substance. Faith is the foundation in which things can be built. Hallelujah. Faith is the foundation for everything, people of God. Faith in Jesus is foundational for our house, for this earthly tabernacle to be built. Hallelujah. Without faith, this old body, this old tabernacle, this soul, this soul, this mind, this heart. Hallelujah. Without faith. Hebrews is outlining the fact that <laughs> without faith, we have no foundation. If we do not have faith, then this particular passage of scripture does not and will never apply to our lives. Undeniably, faith acts and fills the void for what the natural eye does not see. 
faith proves to the mind the reality of things that cannot be seen by the bodily eye, by this OI. Hallelujah. Faith proves to the mind, proves to the mind with evidence and substance. Hallelujah. Glory to God that the reality of things that cannot be seen exist, hallelujah. What you don't see by <laughs> that bodily eye, that eye of faith shows concisely and clearly in substance and detail, hallelujah, glory to God. But it's necessary to have a relationship it's necessary to trust and believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. And again, when you have that faith and trust in Jesus, it activates all the promises of God to be fulfilled in your life. Hallelujah. The author of this Hebrew book is laying the foundation if you have faith, if you have faith in Jesus Christ, it's not about your works, it's not about your good deeds, but it is solely based in your belief and faith in Jesus. Because if you have faith in him, everything else you do, hallelujah, will be accurate. It will be foundational. It will have spiritual alignment. It will please God. But in order for you to even be considered, hallelujah, faithful, <laughs> are believing, you must believe in the one who God sent. And that was his son, Jesus. And that is his son, Jesus. Glory to God. The faith we share is demonstrated rather than defined. Hallelujah. And again, as per our lesson commentary, this faith is collective. Faith is collective. That's where I, we are here again on Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for morning service, Wednesday after in Wednesday evening for Bible study, it is collective. We are collectively, collaboratively experiencing, sharing, witnessing what God has done for us through our faith and belief in his son. Again, it activates, it opens, it provides assurance to us. Hallelujah. It provides a policy that we can have access to, privileges to. We can act on those privileges, but faith is that substance. Faith is that contract in, hallelujah, Jesus. Faith's hope. Those verses one through three go on to let these believers know about faith and what it does. It lets them know by faith, the elders obtained a good report. The elders being those individuals that are older, those individuals who were historical in reference, those individuals who may be in your existence right now, who may be surrounding you now, who may be in your family now, who may have relationship, hallelujah, and experience with what God can do if you have faith in him. By it, these individuals, hallelujah, they give specifics, but it is referenced the elders obtained a good report, hallelujah providing justification for having faith. The Greek explanation and or the word used for framed 
because the scripture talks about uh, by faith that allowed him to frame the world goes beyond and notes frame means to put in order and in place therefore our help our faith helps we the believer with the assurance that god's word framed the world and placed everything into existence and because we know this that god can and will make things appear that cannot be seen god made the world out of nothing hallelujah just as he does for us through the existence of our lives here on earth when we believe and trust in him with our whole heart we often say he makes a way out of no way i did not know it hallelujah but something happened we say god may not come when you want him but he's always on time hallelujah this is faith being demonstrated this is knowing that god can take something and create anything hallelujah he formed the world without his formation there was nothing the world was void hallelujah and because we believe that again people of god we believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that god will and can and does do hallelujah god can take the unseen and make it visible hallelujah these glasses hallelujah his word this word oh hallelujah gives us that vision that insight to see what this natural eye cannot see but when we put on these glasses when we put on our spiritual eye glasses hallelujah faith in him he is able to do anything hallelujah to make a way out of no way to create the world where there was no world hallelujah and so certainly having faith in him allows us to focus on the tangible glory to god but again we must seek him with our whole heart faith's hope in times when it is hard to see faith reminds us that the world we live in exists because of what we cannot see hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> oh, God's word is awesome. Part two, faith's heroes. Again, part two, faith's heroes. Hebrews 11, verses four through five. Hero is a person of distinguished courage or ability, an individual admired for his or her brave deeds and noble qualities faith's heroes abel is referenced in that fourth through fifth verse abel faith in god allowed for a more excellent sacrifice to be made hallelujah there were two brothers and we know the story of cain and abel but faith again in god allowed for a more excellent sacrifice to be made by Abel. Faith increases excellence in our submission, in our obedience to God. Again, as demonstrated by Abel, when you have faith, it increases the excellence of what we submit. It increases the obedience with excellence hallelujah everything we do everything hallelujah that we execute is done in a way of excellency when we have faith 
when we are instructed, when we are guided by the will of God. That's why it's necessary to acknowledge him in all our ways and he will direct our path. Hallelujah. Abel was sincere. He was genuine and his faith allowed again that gift to be viewed as excellent. Hallelujah. And because of the genuineness and because of the truth in his offering, in his belief to God, hallelujah, that truth, that genuineness of that gift spoke from the grave. Hallelujah, that truth in his action spoke from the grave and lives on. Hallelujah, lives beyond his action. Hallelujah, the truth and dedication and faith. Hallelujah, associated with Abel's gift spoke of the value of the gift. He had faith, hallelujah, and that faith increased, made that gift superior, made his offering excellent. Hallelujah. The truth and genuineness again of Abel's gift spoke from the grave. People of God, only what you do for Christ will last. Only what you do for him will be documented. Hallelujah. And captured and referred to. Enoch was translated. Translated is moved from one place or condition to another. Enoch was translated so that he should not see death. Before his translation, he had this documented testimony per the word of God that he pleased God. Hallelujah. His faith his action, they pleased God. Oh, yeah. But because of his willingness to do and have faith in, hallelujah, again, redundant, but he pleased God. Four verses represent Enoch in the scriptures in the book of Genesis, but he was translated. He wasn't mentioned many or multiple times, but he was translated. Hallelujah. Don't worry, people of God, if your name is not mentioned that much, but you have faith and you can demonstrate your faith in action, you too can be translated because your ways please God. Enoch did not experience the passage of death. He was translated because his actions pleased God, an entire process was eliminated, the process of death, because of his faith. Hallelujah. Steps, processes can be eliminated when we demonstrate faith through, hallelujah, faith in God through his son, Jesus Christ. Again, that faith places us on a different level. It increases excellency, hallelujah, because when you have faith, you consult him. When you have faith, you seek him. When you have faith, you pursue him, hallelujah. These are the references that are being made, hallelujah. The book, the author in Hebrews is saying, matter of factly, if you don't believe me, let's let history speak to what I'm saying. Let's allow history, what is documented, what is proven, what has been passed down from generation to generation. Let that truth validate my words. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you think of today from generation to generation 
family, witness, family, witness of a truth or faith, hallelujah, that demonstrated itself in an excellent way that continues to speak hallelujah to you and your family members or members of your church, something God did for someone who was no longer here, but that miracle, that act, hallelujah, that belief still speaks today, hallelujah. Part three, faith that he is. Again, part three, our category three, faith that he is. This is specific to Hebrews 11 and six. Again, faith that he is. Hallelujah. It does not provide anything on is after. <laughs> Hallelujah, because we know you can, <laughs> you can put a word after what after is. It can be populated with anything because God is. Hallelujah. Faith in Jesus is. Glory to God. You can feel that word because it speaks to anything. It speaks to everything that may come our way, that may confront us. Faith that he is will allow us to overcome anything, any obstacle, any person, any individual, anything out there because, hallelujah, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. But first, you have to have faith that he is who he says he is. And Hebrews 11 and 6 notes, hallelujah, a little clarification here. Many people have a desire to please God, but they have no clue as to how. Hallelujah, the how to and are a concept to go about pleasing God. Many times people are exhausted as they are find themselves pursuing traditions as opposed to God. This is sometimes confusing because they believe that by satisfying conditions, and traditions, hallelujah, and executing deeds and good works. They are satisfying the will of God, which is not accurate. When deeds and good works are not motivated by faith, they are not genuine. Again, when deeds and good works are not motivated, not motivated by faith, they're not genuine. These things, these good deeds, these good works will be temporal. And before you know it, they will end because it is a fad. Your passion <laughs> will then be directed towards something else because that is just what it is. It is a passion. And it is not faith. Glory to God. Faith is genuine. Passion can take you a long way, but normally passion is temporal and it fades and takes you from one focus to another. Faith is consistent and without it, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah, just got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> Number one, without faith, you cannot please God. It is impossible, hallelujah, to please God without it. It's impossible. There is no other way possible. If too, if you come to God, you must believe that he is God first that he created the worlds, that he is the one and true living God, 
this belief in him is the very foundation necessary for your next steps. We talk about steps. We talk about steps and goals, associating them with the lesson, applying them to our weekly life, to our lives weekly. But I'm talking about your steps in your faith walk. Hallelujah. Faith in God is mandatory. Again, without it, you cannot please him, but without faith, hallelujah, you're stepping nowhere. You are going absolutely nowhere. Your future is suspect. Hallelujah. You need faith as that very foundation to help you take your next step. Not only your next step, but every step you take in life without faith, your steps. Hallelujah. <laughs> they may go nowhere without faith being that foundation. Your, you might step into sinking sand. You might sink to a level Hallelujah, in which you cannot come up. But oh, we thank God for who he is. And we know that he does everything well. And we know that he makes the impossible possible. But it's necessary for you to establish your foundation and your very first step in faith. Without faith, you're again going nowhere. Without faith, your next steps are, hallelujah, without purpose, without direction. You will be wandering around aimlessly without faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All you, all we have to do as believers <laughs> is believe him, hallelujah, have faith in him, continue to pursue him, continue to pursue his will, continue to pursue his way, continue to read his word, hallelujah, continue to seek his guidance and his instruction. And as you do these things, he will show himself Hallelujah, he will demonstrate himself to you as he did the heroes, heroes, excuse me, that were referenced, as he did Abel, as he did Enoch, as he did Abraham. He will do the same for you. He will establish you, but you must first be genuine in your belief and demonstrate faith in him. Hallelujah. We cannot get caught up in traditions and we cannot allow the traditions that we're familiar with to impact our walk, to impact the faith that we have because faith in Jesus is superior, hallelujah, than any tradition that can be passed down, hallelujah. And that is what the writer of Hebrews was applying or implying. Faith in Jesus is superior than the rewards associated with the law of good deeds and works. We also, we talked about Shiru's in our Opening, hallelujah. There were also hero, heroes or sheroes of faith <laughs> that were referenced in that 11th chapter of Hebrews. God is not limited of what he can do based upon gender, hallelujah. Male and female, God is God and acts on behalf equally. 
with Sarah at 90 years old. She believed that God was going to give her a child based upon his promise and faith. Hallelujah. Her faith in God, her belief in God that regardless of what she saw, regardless of what she saw, wrinkled skin, hallelujah, the improbability of her being able to, she demonstrated that yet she believed in what God said he would do. Although the circumstances of her body, although the reality of which she existed spoke something else, she believed that God could do the impossible. God could do what people say he could not do. That was demonstrated. That came to life, hallelujah, through Sarah. Rahab, who was a prostitute, hid to spies because she believed the promises and had faith in what God said he would do. The woman with the issue of blood, she too believed in the promises of Jesus. Hallelujah, regardless of her present reality and the fact that she spent every single dime she had, the fact that she'd seen every physician in her region, it did not impact her faith that God, hallelujah, through his son could make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. He could heal her even though, oh, glory to God, he could heal her even though a vaccination or a vaccine had not been created at that time. Hallelujah. Has he formed the world out of nothing? Jesus, glory to God, through his father was able to heal that woman instantly and dry up what was ailing her. Hallelujah. He's the creator of the world. And faith in him locks, unlocks the door for anything ailing us. Unlocks cures, hallelujah. Unlocks, mm, oh glory to God, a mountain of resources that can come to our aid. All we have to do is believe. And then part four, as I'm winding down quickly, faith's heirs. Part four, faith's heirs. These individuals referred to as the heroes did not, heroes, I keep saying, mispronouncing the word, heroes did not get to witness the promises here on earth, but they saw them from afar off and they believed. They saw them with their spiritual eye, with the spiritual glasses I referred to earlier through reading, through med meditation, through an individual one-on-one -on -one relationship, through collective witness and testimonies, their faith was increased, hallelujah. And there was no doubt in their mind because God demonstrated to them what he could do, hallelujah. They all died in faith, but this was necessary for them to receive the promise. They received what God said. They believed what God said. They confessed what the word of the Lord said, and they persuaded others and embraced the concept, hallelujah, that they were strangers and pilgrims in this land working to, working toward, hallelujah, a new home, working toward a new destination, working toward their future, hallelujah, a future with God the Father and God the Son, a future where, it had been promised, hallelujah, and it currently is to us. 
Oh, glory to God of things that will be and the experience that we'll have with him in glory. Their faith allowed them to sacrifice things here on earth because they knew the things here on earth were temporal because their father, hallelujah, had promised and because their faith, hallelujah, provided assurance of what everlasting or what the future of everlasting was. They believed that they would have an experienced life after this present world again and that belief and that faith in what was to come, what is to come, allowed them to sacrifice all those temporal gains that they could save, all the legacies that they could, hallelujah, they could create for their families and a lot of different things. They believed and had trust and faith in God that if they took care of his business, he would take care of theirs. That's why there's reference to Enoch. That's why there's reference to Abel. That's why there's reference to all of these heroes and sheroes. Hallelujah, God told Abraham, if you do what I instruct you to do, you will be the father of many nations. You will have your legacy established. Hallelujah, Abraham's goal was to please God, not to establish a legacy. Hallelujah, people of God, we have to please him. And all his instructions, when we please him, when we have faith in him, that faith is the assurance of and the evidence of things hoped for but not seen, hallelujah. He created the world, the world that was without void and form as forestated, hallelujah. And so it's not hard for us to believe that God can and does and will continue to do and create things out of absolutely nothing. Why? Because he has the power power to do so. Is your faith limited to only what you see? If your faith is limited to only what you see, you will be limited to life here on earth. You'll be limited to this temporal place. Hallelujah. But you will be committed to eternal damnation if you don't believe if you do not have faith and trust in him and do what is necessary to focus the, on the things here in this earth. These things are temporal, but that focus will land you in an internal state of damnation forever and ever and ever. Let's allow the 11th chapter of Hebrews to inspire us to increase our faith in Jesus. I know I have went over my time. Our lesson next week is lesson number 11. It'll be the 15th of August. And the topic is a pers persevering faith. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verses 23 through 36. Our prayer for this lesson on faith. Father, we thank you. We have more clarity and understanding about living by faith. We have more clarity and understanding about living by faith and pleasing you. Lord, help us. Open our eyes and ears to see and hear what you are saying to us in these last days. And may we be doers of the word and not hearers only. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Your giving options are displayed at the bottom of the screen. And please remember to join in promptly at 11 a.m. for an 
awesome, impactful, powerful word of God coming to us from Pastor Anthony Rogers. Praise God. We look forward to seeing you at 11 a.m. Be blessed and have a wonderful Sunday.